Well, welcome back to Feel the Snow. I am your humble host, Spoons Asunder, and in the last one, I was able to sort of fight the uh, the, the 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 person, the queen, the queen that I can't pronounce her name, the Ice Queen, and I went in with absolutely no healing things because I didn't know there was a boss fight immediately. So, uh, yeah. I am much more prepared now. I made a lot of healing flasks, uh, a bunch more food just because I got the stuff for it because I was killing some hogs. And also because of that, I, I finally made that swordsman's helm, uh, which I don't know if I can even wear because I need the wire hat. So that, that's good for later, I guess. But I made a stone bow which is a decent, almost double the damage of my other bow because I think I'll have to be fighting her mostly from range and a bunch more arrows to go with it, of course. But I should have uh, plenty of things. I'm going to put this ring on because the mana won't really be uh, an issue if I'm using bows. And it is now morning, so that's a good time to set off. I got 20 healing potions and a few Eskimos if I really need them. So that should hopefully be enough to uh, beat the boss. And we'll see what's after that, if anything. Uh, I got fresh new armor because my other one just recently died. I should make another sword, but I don't think I'll be using it very much. So I don't think I will. And I'm kind of going to just use the stone bow on the boss. Even though I still have some wood one left. And I'll, I'll use up that one uh, if this happens to run out. So, yeah. Yep, so I am heading out again. I am going to walk back to the town. There's so many seeds, though. I'm just going to let them go. I have plenty of seeds. Um, yeah, so I'm going back to the town so I can use the teleporter instead. I could just kill four of those square things, the blocks, and make my own teleporter stone by my house. But whatever, I, I need a renovation anyway, so I'm planning on making a new house eventually. So, uh, I don't really want to do that right now. I can make a Dallas Porter stone on the new house whenever that happens. So, here it is. I think I should be able to just use this. And, yep. Teleport. Go to Toad Dolph's house there. And it's bright and early, so I won't have to use my lantern. That was the plan, at least. I should have filled up on Swedes before I went. I don't want to have to eat halfway through the fight. Oh well. I'm also going to take these as I go, because I do have a lot of snail meat. And uh, I can make a rag out of snails if I combine it with a shroom, so I'm going to take some of those. I could take some of this iron. But it, uh, it's iron ore. So the problem is that all the all the recipes that I just got for like iron armor and iron, some sort of iron weapon, uh, it does take these to get iron ore. But I'm pretty sure the furnace that I got is uh, needed as well because all of the actual recipes call for iron ingot. What is this? A diamond? Okay, I, I got a diamond. I don't know. I assume it's good. I don't know why I need it. Hello, poppin' shrooms. I think I'm getting close. I should also be taking the lollipops so I can make better health potions. They're not much better, so I don't really see uh, an absolute need to get the bigger one. They're only like 40 versus 60 is what it is, so it's not really a necessity, but it's nice to be able to, so I'll pick them up. There it is. I think I got like nine snail mates, so I'm going to get enough shrooms for that. There we go. Okay, now I can try this again. Hopefully I'll do better this time. Hello. I wish I could say, but talking won't help, nor will English, as I said. Let's do this again. 
Yep, it, I couldn't move yet. That was cheating. Okay, I can only hit her like right at the base, right there. Everywhere else does not hit. So I'm planning on just keeping my distance so I can avoid these ice things and just taking, taking pot shots. I almost did not avoid that because it made me shoot an extra arrow. I need to run from this one though. Because it'll give ice spikes. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I didn't want to hit me. I knew it. There we go. I think this is going to be good. I don't know if I made enough arrows. Judging by the health. Wait for her to stand still. There we go. I don't know what that does. Zero. So shield, I have to like hit these to get them down maybe? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Red. Okay. I immediately died from, uh, from whatever that one was. It just exploded. I really don't like that it makes me walk this far just to get back to the boss. Spawns me all the way at that guy's house. I wonder if there's a closer, like, bed that I can rest in. Because that's just not going to work. I kind of wonder... What, what... Oh, snail's just hitting me as I'm trying to figure things out. Thanks. I was wondering if I'd be better off using the, the mana one rather than arrows, because that'll just recharge. And if I'm going to die a lot, then uh, that'll be better. Leave me alone. I'll take that. Yeah, okay. So... Yeah, see, I can't move for that first one at all. Okay, okay. I should have done this before, but I was being endangered. And, and, this, there, up right. Yep, I got it by that, because I couldn't see it. Elf. And, see if this works. Don't do it. 17. That does, uh, far less than an arrow, so. Okay, it's about the same, actually. This sucks. Of course, I'm dead again. Yep, so I will definitely not be able to kill this boss in this episode because I don't know if I'm even well enough equipped to, to try to kill it. I mean, I can't upgrade any of these anymore because I'm out of skill points. I mean, I, I don't think there's a level cap so I can keep just killing other things. To increase that to get the skills, but that this is not good. I'm already making almost the best armor and best weapons that I have access to, so uh, I don't think that boss is, is um, leveled like it should be. And with the with the flimsy combat mechanics in this game, it's uh, quite a challenge to to fight accurately and be able to survive it without like a ton of equipment because you're gonna be hit a lot so we just eat and repair so I can keep trying to fight uh, probably in between or in the next one I guess but it, this is uh, this is gonna take some doing it might be worth it to even just make a teleport stone right next to the boss so I don't have to keep walking back and forth that's probably a good plan so, okay, okay, I'm just trying to go home and it's killing me. Well, yeah, let's use another healing potion. Why not? I think I want to just do an entire remodel and, and move of my house. I want to put it uh, somewhere. I'm tempted to put it by the town, 
but I'm also not because the town has its own teleporter and I shouldn't really need to do that. So I kind of want to get enough to build a teleport stone or whatever it's called, the, the end point. And I can just put that by wherever I want my house. Because this place is too small. It, it just is too small. I really like it, but it's too small. So I could just build a bigger one, you know, near it and call it a day because it's kind of in a good spot. It's near the edges of places. What is hitting me? Oh, really? Really? Okay. Thanks. Mm, okay, get away from me. I'm hiding with the old man. So what was I saying? Yeah, where to put the base? Uh, it's in a good spot. I could put it by the edge of the snowless lands here. Or I could put it down by the dark zone and like right, right here. I like this spot. Or, you know, somewhere around here because it's right by an obelisk. It's right by a uh, ice so I can fish if I want to. And it's nearby a bunch of biomes. So, yeah, I'm going to probably put it right here for a new house and then slowly move down there. It's really not that far from where it currently is, but it'll help a lot. Okay then, well, uh, as you might notice, I, I did a little farming and uh, yeah, I made my new house, which uh, took forever. It was, it was a, probably a few hours of game time and several more in-game days. I'm sure it'll be obvious if you look at the day count, but I was doing that off camera, of course. And uh, I got some some new stuff around. I did put in the furnace here. So now that I'm giving you the grand tour, uh, the furnace I can't actually use yet because I don't have the recipe for making an iron ingot, which is what I need to be able to make the iron stuff, which I can't make any of. And this is a little annoying anyway because it takes cloth. But whatever, I still want the iron armor because it's it's decently better than stone. So I will definitely be going hunting for that recipe presently after the tour. But uh, yeah, this is my new house. It's built from mostly stone, but I like the way the wood floors look better. So I put that in there. There's all my other construction stuff. Here's the outdoor materials. Here's all my health things. I can make better health potions now because I gathered some uh, new plants. If I can show you some of the, the garden here. Oh, I didn't finish the fence. I'm going to finish the fence too. But here's my lovely little garden. Uh, these are the lollipop plants that were back up in the, the terrible zone with all the snails. So I got some of those, which uh, makes me able to make better health potions that are worth, uh, I don't have any on me, but they're worth 60 rather than 40. Much better. And I left some marshmallows in there just for aesthetics. So, now you can see the roof too. Got a couple of nice doors. This is my workstation over here where I got all the good stuff. Put the loom over by the tree because it's more peaceful. I want to put another carpet there, but I don't have the cloth. And I do have a fireplace now, so I can cook things indoors, and I don't need to do that whole fireplace thing anymore. But over here, I have like a secondary garden with some extra swedes in case I run low on food, and some uh, just grass for rope, I guess. And ice area so I can go fishing, because uh, I guess I could. It takes too long to fish is the problem. It does make good food, but I'd probably be better off just hunting the hogs so I can make more of more of these things, the, the baked hams. That's better. And I tried out the teleport stones, which is what this is. And they're not exactly what I thought they were. I can't directly use them. I have to make um, one of these, which a rune of teleportation, which I made, I think, earlier and just never used. And you use this, which is a reusable item, which will teleport you to the most recently activated one of these. Which kind of sucks, because I can either use it to go to the boss, 
or use it to come back home, but I can't do both. So I'm using it to go to the boss now. And it'll open a portal from wherever you used it to the, the stone. So I'm just going to open it at home. Which, because uh, I will probably still die a bunch in the boss fight. And this will be a good way to get uh, get there and back easier. But this is a nice little roped off area as well. I was planning on having an open concept house and not really walling in the sides that are to the garden. But apparently the nightmares can still spawn within your fenced-in area. It's only within a house that they can't spawn, so that was problematic. But I, I did make it a little separate, but if they happen to spawn outside, they can't get in because they have gates. So that is my house. Awesome stone and windows. And it was in the place that I was saying I would put it, because that's a good place. I do still need to check out this X, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing that yet. So, also, if you might notice, up in the corner here is uh, the frame rate that the game is currently running at. And uh, I have noticed a lot from my uh, time of not being on camera. The game runs at 60 FPS when I'm not trying to do all the recordings. Uh, right now, it's uh, it, it jumps around a bit from 30 to 60, you know, give or take. So... I think that is uh, most of what the problem I was noticing for the um, combat being a little less than ideal and uh, things just jumping around a little because I think they actually programmed this, uh, in my opinion, poorly in this aspect because it appears that many of the core game mechanics are directly tied to the frame rate. So when I was playing offline, enemies were attacking faster, I was running faster, everything seemed a lot faster. So they they have tied things to the frame rate directly rather than just the graphics being laggy or I don't know. The way most games do it is a little differently than that. So I disagree with that choice. Um, this is still in development so maybe they'll change that by the time the game is fully released. I don't know, but I don't like that, so uh, my complaints with the combat may or may not be justified. They're just not in the same, not for the same reasons as I thought they were. So if you're playing this without trying to uh, demand a lot from your computer and record it, I mean, this is a pretty simple game. I wouldn't think it would be very demanding on the on the processing power but apparently it is more so than it should be now that that's out of the way i am going to go find the iron thing the recipe for the iron um, ingot that's what i'm looking for and to do that i am gonna eat another swede before i go i'm only bringing malas and a small one because I don't want to waste my good healing even if I get hurt. So I'm going to use this which goes poof and then opens up portal there and I can use it to jump to the boss door. And I did put one right here. I ran over here and put a teleport stone right here and almost died doing it. So now I can just jump to the boss door wherever I want. So I'm just going to kill a few things in this zone and hope that they can drop some uh, recipes for me. Ah, <laughs> you missed me. It broke. Just snail me? Yeah, just snail me. Oh yes, I also leveled up a couple. Th I put a, a couple more points into this just because I was killing stuff, so I'm a little more powerful as well with uh, this attack is just helpful I guess oh yeah I forgot to put on my hat put on the hat there we go I was getting cold fine I am extremely slow now because I'm all cold eh, well that was unnecessary but I got a recipe let's see if it's the right thing anvil oh well that's different what does the anvil do? 
Okay, well I can't even make it without an ingot anyway. I guess I probably have to make the iron things with the anvil. Why is my temperature not going up? I put on the warm hat. What more do you want from me? Fine, I guess I'll use this. Go warm up. Yes, I'm a snowman and I'm trying to warm up. I really don't like the enemies in this zone. They're too dangerous. Iron shield. Okay, I want the ingot though. I never did kill a shroom. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Uh. Okay, I killed it. That was a weird sound when it died. I like that. Uh, truffle. O okay. I guess I can have truffles. There's the ingot. Perfect. And I guess I'll eat the truffle. Cause why not? Poisoning? It's, it's hurting me. Okay. I shouldn't have eaten the truffle. Okay, and it does require the furnace to make the uh, iron ingot. Just like I thought. Ah, oh, that one. That's to the boss. It's this one. Gotta be sure which one I'm using. Got a couple snail meat, so I'll pick some of these to mix another rag out of snails. It is good. So, put a twig in there. See if I can cook these in time. Alright, it's the cauldron. I don't even need that. These are for health, though. So I can make these couple rag out of snails because because tasty I guess and now I should be able to gather all my iron from here I did get some I didn't get a lot but you know some and see if I can make that iron ingot yes all of them I got seven from that can I make what can I make. Uh, let's see, shield is 20, 15, that's good. I don't think I have a cloth, and that needs an anvil to make. I should probably make an anvil first. That takes three of them right there. Alright, I got an anvil. Uh, I thought I had all the things to put in my house, I didn't really leave room for an anvil. Pick up put the anvil just outside here. I think it'll still apply even if I'm, you know, in here. Will it? Yes it does, until I'm like that far away. So I can still use it as long as I'm close enough. And I think an anvil should be outside anyway, so I'm putting it there. It totally isn't because I didn't leave space in my house for an anvil. So, oh, do I have a cloth? No, I almost have a cloth. Okay, well, I'll just get the last little wool here so I can make the cloth, make some better armor, make, you know, more tools because I'm going to need them for the combat. And uh, finish up this fence and then I'll be taking on the, the boss. Well, I don't know if it's the only boss, but the queen that I can't pronounce, I will be trying to fight that queen in the next one because I will finally be prepared after building a new house and just just uprooting my entire life yeah it'll finally happen many thanks for watching this video and until next time may your speed remain